out here on the Marchand Creek property and we're in a zone that is mineralized for about two three hundred meters going down here and all the way around the corner and we just started sampling at one side of the zone where we can see visible oxidation on the rocks there's not a lot exposed over here because you have the tree cover and the overburden and I'm just looking here in the middle of the road where you can see all this bedrock that's peeking through here and this is on the same strike as all this rock up here so you know this is bedrock for sure I came across this right here very interesting there's no mineralization but I find this interesting pulled off a bunch more hunks out of here You have small little areas with your green crystallization. As you come here, there's a couple rock contacts and then there's a definite rock contact running up here. And this is majorly faulted off here. This continues around the corner about 20 meters wide approximately this mineralized area and you can see up top there where it's all gray there's sulfides that are visible from down here and just number two is going to go uh, as high up as possible without falling off and find some samples. I'm gonna walk this lower road and see what I can see. A couple samples I took from over here as well as over there. And uh, you can see it's mostly disseminated iron pyrite with coarse iron pyrite in voids and vugs. And as you can see, there's some deteriorated quartz, which has little pockets of coarse iron sulfides. Mostly iron pyrite. I'm seeing a little chalcopyrite. There's a lot of loose, brittle sulfides. As you can see, a little pocket there, and you can see it just all comes out when you hammer it. So everything is undergone weathering and a lot of the coarse sulfides are easy to fall out so a stringer cutting through the silicus unit there Here's the second sample we pulled off. You can see, again, quartz with loose pockets of sulfides. It's hard to get a good definite sample because everything falls out. A lot of the mineralization cutting through here is stringers, of course, iron pyrite. As you can see, Stringer. There's also mineralization in the host rock. But here's a good example of what we're seeing. Loads of stringers like this. A couple more samples here. I'd say the majority of the mineralization is in the fractures of the rock. Then you have disseminated 
pyrite, minor chalcopyrite, throughout or disseminated in the host rock. Loads of stringers like this. You break it open. You can see there's quartz associated with mostly iron pyrite. And it's very loose and brittle, coarse grained. And this is the last stretch of road we're gonna sample in here. And along in here, we're seeing the same kind of mineralization. So this is a 300 meter zone where you find all this mostly iron pyrite. And it ends just down here, right there. Could continue a little bit farther, but there's too much overburden and we can't see. So this will be the last area we're gonna sample from there over to here. A couple of pyrotized samples here. That I pulled from right there. Here's an interesting one. You can see all the loose coarse iron sulfides just deteriorating out trying to get a good sample that's solid pyrite right there you can see very difficult to get a sample that stays intact though when you have loose sulfides like this occasionally you'll get a nice sample that's really mineralized And occasionally you'll just get giant chunks of iron pyrite. So that's the last piece. We got five samples from this 300 meter stretch of road. Those will be analyzed at a lab at a later date. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.